Today, we're going to take a closer look at one of LJN's hidden gems. Founded in 1973, LJN's name and logo are a homage to the stunning Night Rainbow, found only in Lyndhurst, New Jersey. Get the fuck out of here. LJN published many critically acclaimed games during its time, including Town and Country 2, Thrillers Surfari, and Gotcha. The Sport. But this review will focus on a different game, WWF Raw. Targeted towards wrestling fans, WWF Raw allows a player to take control of their favorite wrestlers, in a quest to become wrestling champions. Released in 1992, this classic can be played alone or with friends. WWF Raw is perhaps best known for its grapple meter system. At the time, Nintendo of Japan was in a bind, they needed more controller sales, but uptake was sluggish. LJN answered the call. On harder difficulty settings, players had a higher chance of milking a bull's tit than winning grapples. Futile button mashing by players led to many destroyed controllers, which pleased Nintendo. During matches, in-game music is non-existent. In its place are sound effects, sweaty thuds and groans closely resemble the real thing, and have been praised by purists. Of course, a video game review isn't complete without mentioning graphics. Although the majority of the wrestlers featured are now deceased, players will still find a lot of enjoyment from this title. Whether it's Owen Hart dropping an elbow from the top rope, or Yokozuna slamming his fat dumpy on Roadie Magoo's WWF Raw Be Good Wrestling. Now, show me your mammals danglies. 